Hello! Welcome back to another vlog. Today is the day before I'm leaving to go out of town with some girlfriends. Um, and I guess I can tell you now because I'll already be back home by the time this vlog goes live. But I'm going to Boston with Fran, Emily, and Abigail. I'll tag all of their handles because y'all might know them by their handles rather than just their names. So I've met Emily. Y'all know I did a meet and greet with Emily. I've met her in person. And Fran was in town a couple of weeks ago and we got dinner together. And so I have met her in person. The only person I have not met in the flesh is Abby, Abigail. So I'm really excited. I have followed all of these girls for a really long time. And um, anyway, we are just going on a quick little trip. It's really speedy, leaving Friday, coming back Sunday. Um, but we have some fun things planned. I'm planning on vlogging the whole trip. So hopefully I can get some good footage to share with you guys today I have a lot to do need to pack need to finish up some work things um, but at this very moment I have a really sweet puppy dog in my lap I don't know how we both fit in this chair but Remy is asleep I feel like I'm stuck I don't want to get up and wake her up because she's just a doll but I have to get my day started but anyway I'm really excited for this trip and we were originally gonna go to a different location and then ended up with Boston, which at first I was like, eh, Boston. Y'all know I used to live there. It wasn't the best of times when we lived there, but I know that was like two years ago. Um, but I'm excited to go back, especially to see Seaport, to see how much has changed in all the new places. Since I will be like flying there and meeting up with the girls, I you know, am very confident and familiar with the Boston airport and the layout of things. So I think it will be good. It will be a good, you know, it was a blessing in disguise because I'll be, I'll know exactly where to go. I'll be familiar with the area. So I'll feel very safe and, and good. So anyway, that would be fun. I've been thinking through what kind of outfits I want to pack and so I kind of have like all the ideas in my head but I need to actually locate everything. I'm planning on bring packing everything in a carry-on so I need to see how that is all going to fit. Hi okay I am currently on my way rushing to North Park because I started packing for Boston and realized one of the outfits that I was planning on did not come together in person like I was thinking in my head and I ordered a piece to complete said outfit and it's actually not going to be here till Monday when I'll be back from Boston. So it's going to be okay. I'm going to run and see if Zara has something and maybe Abercrombie. And then I've got to run right after this and go to my nail appointment. I'm at my nail appointment now. Um, I didn't find a single thing. I went into Zara, Abercrombie, Express, Anthropology, maybe somewhere else. I didn't find anything. Popped into Dillard's, didn't find a single thing. And the thing is, is that like, I know I'm overthinking this, but like, since I'm, since I'm going with other influencers, I definitely feel a little bit more pressure to look like a little bit more put together and have like the perfect outfit. I also really am great at shopping for other people terrible at shopping for myself like i just get overwhelmed and i like so many different things and like i'm terrible at shopping for myself like i don't know what i don't want to wear like i can give anyone suggestions for anything and i love shopping for other people but i hate shopping for myself i also hate shopping for bottoms whether it be shorts jeans skirts i do not own like any skirts which is like what i'm looking for a skirt is because they don't fit my hips like they either fit my hips and then don't fit my waist or they fit my waist and they don't fit my hips and it's too tight and uncomfortable i'm like well maybe I should, this is why i always wear dresses is because it's just loose fits it works i mean like obviously i have options but like i had this one top i really wanted to make work and the skirt i had ordered had come in in time this wouldn't be a problem but um anyway so i might try to run by a couple more places after my nail appointment otherwise we'll have to go back and reassess okay just finished my nail appointment very natural looking i got the performance polish so i can take it off whenever i want to that's one thing i i like my pet peeve about getting my nails done if i do gel or something is i can't take it off um but anyway really happy with this girl that did it is so nice um, so now I'm going to go to Snyder Plaza and peruse and see if I can find something to work for tomorrow. Don't you love how um, prepared and in advance I plan 
cry line. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm sweating hot. I'm starving. I went into like 10 different stores, found nothing. No skirts to be found, y'all. No skirts. So maybe I should just stick with the dress strap. Okay, we just got back from our walk, showered, and had a quick change, and now we are headed to dinner. I'm renting this dress from Rent the Run Runway. As always, I have a code, Louise RTR, for 40% off two months of the 10 item membership plan. Always a mouthful. Um, but yeah, it is very hot outside. We went with the party pony because um, I didn't want to wash my hair because I need to wash it tomorrow when I get on my flight. Have I packed today? No, but... I think I have figured out my consensus and what I'm going to wear. So I might vlog me packing up tonight, but honestly, I'm just a little bit like frazzled and all over the place. So I might just need to do that alone, but we'll see. So we are off to dinner. I am about to head to the airport. I unfortunately live the furthest from everyone else. So getting to Boston, is gonna take me a little bit longer, but it's gonna be okay. Um, I was able to get a direct flight, which is a blessing. I would do not want to connect with all of the horror stories I've heard with people and flying these days. So I have a flight that leaves at 11, arriving at 4.30, and then I'm meeting up with the gals, and then we're gonna go to a Red Sox game tonight, and then we're staying at the Colonnade Boston. I'll link all of their information. They are so kindly hosting us for the weekend, and I can't wait to see the hotel, see what it's all about. It's in Back Bay, really close to the Prudential Center. Also, if you've been following me for a while, you know that Grant and I used to live in Boston for a short but very sweet time, and so it will be really fun to go back and see what all has changed, especially in Seaport, where we lived. Um, if you want to see more Boston content, I um, had a YouTube channel then, and so I have all of my vlogs saved from when we lived in Boston. It's such a fun time, so I'm really excited to be back. We haven't been back since we've moved, so um, I'm just excited, feeling nostalgic um, to go back and see what it's looking like these days. So I'm about to finish up packing, and then Grant's going to drop me off at the airport. Here is my travel outfit of the day. This set is from Amazon. Shoes are my Vejas, and I have like a little wrap I'm going to wear too. I really wanted to wear this set that I have that has long pants and like a knit sweater, but it is just too hot to wear that. So we're going with the light and flowy option. And yeah, I'll link this in my Amazon storefront wearing a size small. Okay, we made it to Boston in one piece. I'm here, just got checked in, and now I need to rush and like change and get dressed. But quick room tour. I don't even know if this is gonna be my room. This is just the key they gave me. I think we need to figure out sleeping arrangements, but this is where we're at. <laughs> Very nice. We're staying at the Colonnade Boston, which is in a great location. I approve already. I guess this, oh, is the bathroom. Okay, oh, lovely. Here's the bathroom, fabulous. Yay, gonna change real quick. Okay, I don't even know if you can see me, but I am rushing to get ready. I just threw on this dress from Zara. It's so weird to be back in Boston, y'all. Like, it's such a weird feeling. I'm also just so exhausted. So my flight was a direct flight, which was awesome, but it was just long. I think everyone on that plane was watching the Avatar movie, <laughs> which is pretty good. I've seen it, but I watched My Best Friend's Wedding, and then I watched Bride Wars, which I had never seen Bride Wars before, and it was honestly like way cheesier than I was expecting. Like, I enjoy cheesy, but this was like a whole another level. Just like the way they filmed it was really interesting. <laughs> I felt like Abby just texted me that they're out timeout market grabbing dinner before the game I guess the game's at seven. It honestly looks a little bit cloudy. So I don't know the deal is with that I've never been to a Red Sox game before even though we lived in Boston Just never really had the desire honestly, but I think it'd be fun if we do end up going to that This is as good as it's gonna get <laughs> I'm afraid I should probably brush my hair too. Oh darn it. I brought my bag lipstick <sighs> Okay, final look, headed out the door. We'll see you at the game or at timeout market.
Okay, trip update. We're strolling around Beacon Hill. It's a lovely weather. We had a lovely pool day today. We've been strolling around taking pictures and then I think we're gonna head over to Seaport, Cisco Brewery, Nautilus for dinner. Having a wonderful time. Right to the